Get ready for three more Iron Boy movies from Tom Holland and the MCU. Yes, it's true. So just in time for the, uh, the, the uh, wait, 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 was it a home sweet home? No, uh, homeless? No, uh, da, da, no way home. That's the third film. And let's hope it's the charm because, yes, I have not liked the Spider-Man films. Uh, from the MCU. Liked him okay in Civil War, and then it started to drop off. Because yeah, he was Iron Boy. Um, so maybe this will finally be his only movie, but now he's got to share with his new daddy, Doctor Strange. <laughs> well, it's Doctor Strange, of course. Uh, another Ditko creation. And uh, they've teamed up in the comics. So there's uh, it, it's somewhat appropriate. And it makes sense, considering what he wants Doctor Strange to do. Uh, based on how things were left um, in the last film. So anyway, uh, there we go. We got an announcement that Amy Pascal uh, said, this is not the last movie that we are going to make with Marvel. This is not the last Spider-Man movie, said Pat. Well, <laughs> of course not. I just didn't know if they were going to, you know, recast down the road or something like that, you know. But, uh, but no, we are getting ready to make the next Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland and Marvel. We're thinking of this as three films. And now we're going to go into the next three. This is not the last of our MCU movies. Yes, Marvel and Sony are going to keep going together as partners. Yeah, you, you know they just love each other so much, you know. It's Octo Spy... No, it's his, see, it's his Iron Boy suit. Thanks, Tony Stark. He doesn't even need the spider powers, you know. Uh, you will wear this outfit. You will live with me. <laughs> Tom, uh, do you get that one? No, okay. Uh, Tom Holland back for more Spider-Man. Bob, I think the deal is actually five films. So the three uh, Spider-Man movies and then two films for, I guess, Avengers or whatever, you know. And whatever crossover they want to do. I guess Secret Invasion might be the next big event they do. Something along those lines. But not long ago, Miles was suggest I mean, Miles, sorry, jumping ahead. Uh, Tom Holland said, maybe it's time, I mean, maybe it's time for me to move on. Maybe what's best for Spider-Man is that they do a Miles Morales film, Holland told GQ. I have to take Peter Parker into account as well, because he is an important, an important part of my life. But also, if I'm playing Spider-Man after I'm 30, I've done something wrong. Well, you did something wrong. Because, yes, as Matt McGloin points out, by the end of the, this contract, uh, you'll be around 31 to 32 years old. So, But not, but you won't be 30 anymore. So maybe that's what he meant. <laughs> but I'm, you will be 30 years old playing Spider-Man. Uh, and maybe they'll give him a send-off in that version of Spider-Man. I don't know. So there you go. You're getting more Spider-Man, or rather Iron Boy. And... Uh, uh, get ready for more. So it doesn't. So you already know it doesn't end here. One kind of thought. Well, with multiverse stuff, um, who knows what they would have done or rewrite it and all that. And at the end, um, you have a different Spider-Man or something along those lines. Uh, same guessing about the Flash movie and introducing a new Batman and all that. Anyway, there's the latest poster. See it in IMAX. The multiverse. And uh, there he is, Whee! in his Iron Boy suit. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, clues to another Spider-Man seem to be prancing about. Uh, here at uh, uh, Bounding Into Comics, uh, someone says, Hey, we definitely got something saying that Toby was going to be there. And Toby's been very quiet about it. He hasn't said anything, as far as I know, about whether or not he's in the film. Whereas Andrew Garfield said, nope, not in it. But now, do you believe it? Well, we'll, we'll find out. But Tobey Maguire was always very, very quiet about this. And uh, so uh, uh, these little promos with toys and stuff came out. And then there was this other poster. And uh, this guy here, Dominic Kravitz, I guess. Uh, uh, Kravitz. Uh, spotted something here. So we'll head over there. And there's the, the little poster with a different outfits that uh, once again <laughs> Tom's gonna wear I don't know probably 
four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, not nine, ten uh, costumes. <laughs> I know one of them's got to be the magic costume, so he doesn't have Iron Man anymore to make him a new one. So, uh, Doctor Strange, I think we'll have to make him a uh, magic Spider-Man costume. Yeah. Uh, in order to uh, deal with uh, the multiverse and whatnot. So, th uh, there you go. You'll get another Spider-Man suit. But uh, someone noticed that behind him here... Oh, who's this peeking? Someone's photobombing Spider-Man. Who could... Wait, it looks familiar. I wonder what... Not you. I guess that was it. I thought there was a bigger one. <laughs> uh, well, we'll take care of that real quick. Uh, yeah. Who does that look like? Yeah, the, the raised uh, webs that also have kind of a more of a white, uh, you know, reflective uh, texture. It's Tommy McGuire, Spider-Man. Uh, that's his old suit. Uh, photobombing Tom Holland, Spider-Man. And it looks like they're going into action. But wait, he's in black and white. Yeah, so he's in another universe and whatnot. But they have to deal with uh, his villains. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, well, Tom only got two. Uh, Mysterio and uh, Vulture. So uh, I don't know if any of them will show up in this one. Maybe. I don't know. But then it'll be interesting to see uh, what they do about all this going forward with Sony and Marvel coming together, will they allow for uh, Venom to have a cross? I mean, they already did the little tease with Venom, you know, watching Spider-Man on TV and all that sort of stuff. And uh, so, uh, you know, because at one point I thought one film of the original deal was going to be a, almost completely a Sony film. And, um, but uh, it just, I don't know, the negotiations fell through. There's the stories that they actually shot some Tom Holland footage for the, the first Venom film, and then nothing came of it. Uh, but maybe now, going forward, uh, he's going to interact with those uh, characters of Venom and uh, soon to uh, come uh, Morbius and uh, stuff like that. So maybe there'll be something like that uh, for Spider-Man. The sad thing is, is I, when we got three films coming, will there be a new Green Goblin for him to take on? Because the Green Goblin is, you know, that's Spider-Man's Joker, or it's like the uh, Joker is to Batman, or Lex Luthor is to Superman. Uh, it's the Green Goblin for Spider-Man, even though he spent a couple of decades dead. <laughs> but it was still a significant character, oddly enough, in the way they handled it. Uh, it was like a haunting figure over uh, Spider-Man. Uh, then brought him back, and eh, I mean, there, there were some good points here and here. And I could see where they could use Norman Osborn uh, going forward uh, through a lot of the stuff they did with the Dark Avengers and stuff like that. Might be able to weave him into that. Kind of needed him uh, uh, earlier, you know, and uh, some sort of you know uh, rivalry between him and Stark as you know business rivals and stuff. Could have had that, but um, but anyway, they might do that. I don't know. But uh, as far as uh, Willem Dafoe, and this will probably be his last outing, uh, I'm sure. But uh, nevertheless, um, Willem Dafoe, he doesn't look like Norman Osborn, but he looks like the Green Goblin. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't. They did an image of him. I mean, an image. They did a mask that looked like the Green Goblin. Didn't look like Willem Dafoe. But for whatever reason, they abandoned it, and he did that Power Rangers helmet thing. It looks like he's only going to wear it for a little bit in the movie, and then he'll he's going to have like a hooded outfit with goggles or something, and then that'll be that. But uh, and he could have made a good Joker too, <laughs> uh, but he didn't really look like uh, Norman Osborn. And Norman, it's kind of the thing you don't want to look like uh, your alter ego. That's the whole point to have the secret identity. <laughs> but Norman Osborn, I guess what Steve Ditko was going for, he had that. Uh, I don't know, tight curly hair <laughs> that only his son had. And the Sandman. Sandman had that hair, too. And I think John Byrne later retconned it to where uh, they were, like he was a distant cousin to Osborne or something like that. Um, but uh, that's about it. But the, 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 but the facial features and whatnot, it's like seems like Norman was a bigger guy than he was when he was the Goblin or something like that. It was kind of weird. But anyway, whatever. Um it's the elements of Spider-Man you just don't get from these films. And uh, maybe they'll, maybe they got a better deal and can share more characters and story plots and whatnot from Spider-Man so that they can act that out in the next three films and uh, hope that, that that's going to be the case. 
But uh, so far, yeah, I, I just have not liked the, the films at all because it's not Spider-Man. Maybe this one will be the charm, and going forward, they'll get better. And uh, one can hope. So, uh, yeah, Tom, it's a lot of money. I'm sure they added some, uh, some zeros <laughs> to convince you otherwise. Probably he was doing the game and playing. I don't know if I want to keep playing this. Oh, you're going to keep playing it for quite a while. So there you go. More Spider-Man coming your way uh, to a theater near you, I guess. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends. Yes. Also, check out my mini stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.